Welcome friends. My name is Eric Mayle. And I'm Richard Glazer. Welcome to Palm Beach, Florida. Today we're aboard the Seahawk, a beautiful 2014 Westport 112 motor yacht. So today, let's walk everybody through. We're gonna take a look at her decks. She's got a beautiful aft deck. She's got a great boat deck, big flybridge. Got a great deck on the bow for more lounging spaces. Inside, beautiful salon, four stateroom, four and a half head, great country kitchen. She's a great boat. One of the things I like the most is this main salon. It's such a great space with all of these gigantic windows. Really makes you feel like you're outside when you're actually inside in this beautiful entertaining area. One of the other things that's really exquisite about this yacht is all of the mahogany trim. They did two or three other yachts with this same mahogany trim and it is special. Let's start our tour on the swim platform. It's a great spot. Seahawks got a big, big swim platform, safety rails all around, six staples across the back. Great place for launching the dinghy, great place for swimming, easy access into the engine room or the crew quarter. So from the swim platform, let's take a step up into the aft deck. Yeah, the best thing about the aft deck is the dining, the alfresco dining table in the back. And also the, the huge bar with the bar stools is really, really a great space for entertaining and hanging out with the awesome view back there too. Uh, really, really is a nice space. And then on the starboard side of the boat, we have the stairwell that goes up to the boat deck and then also the stairway that goes down into the crew space and engine room. You know, as your guests come aboard, there's lots of space up here. You've got the bar right here. We can greet the guests with champagne and cocktails. At the end of the day, in the afternoon, it's a great place to sit down again to do appetizers. Enjoy the day in the morning. It's the perfect spot for breakfast. So from the aft deck, we come in through the sliding glass doors and you're greeted by this beautiful, very, very plush, very, very open salon. It opens to the dining room. You've got the big windows on either side, beautiful bar. This is a great place to come in out of the weather and enjoy the evening. Yeah, again, like Richard said, one of the things that I, I like the best about this space is, is how wide and open this space is. We've got these gigantic picture frame windows that let in just a ton of uh, natural sunlight. And so you really have fantastic views from in here. Also, you know, the decorative element of this space is spectacular. Yeah, big overstuffed sofa and love seat, giant chair, lots of, lots of comfort in this room. So the mixture of the mahogany with these beautiful onyx countertops, it's really a gorgeous feature in the boat. On the starboard side, there's an armoire over there with a TV that pops up out of it. Yeah, as we move forward into the dining area, we have a very large, beautiful glass and mahogany table that matches the rest of the trim. Also, you'll notice that above the table, we have beautiful detail with a soffit uh, that has an oval shape to it. And, and that theme is continued throughout the whole salon area. Here's another space where Seahawk really shines. This galley is massive. It's a big country kitchen. It's the full width of the boat. This island is humongous. Big settee up here for breakfast or for lunch. And it's really designed for the cook or the chef on the boat. Yep, and again, carrying on the theme, we have the overhead detail with a really beautiful skylight that lets in even more natural light than these gigantic picture frame windows do. One of the other beautiful things about this galley and dining space is that there's plenty of storage. Also, we have these gigantic Sub-Zero real size refrigerators that are also, you know, really nice for the chef. Next, let's head forward and down below into the VIP space. So the VIP is fully forward on this boat. It's more of a second master. It's fully private from the rest of the staterooms. Big queen size bed, walk around bed. You've got an ensuite head, so it's a private bathroom, walk-in closet. There's even a little desk down here for work when it's time to get, get a little bit done. Carpet's brand new here underfoot. In fact, it's new throughout the whole boat. The salon, down the stairs, into the staterooms down below, all brand new carpet done last year. While we're on staterooms, let's go down below and take a look at the other three. 
As we're coming down the stairs, you'll see the foyer going into the staterooms. This floor is exquisite. It has a water jetted marble and Calcutta floor. And then forward we have the master and then aft we have the two guest rooms. Big midships master. This is a great room befitting the boat. It's a big king size bed. You've got 16 drawers on one side. This is really just a big stateroom. Once again, you've got the Shoji screens that are gonna let the port lights open up. Beautiful area, walk-in closet. Eric, what do you think of this space? Yeah, I love it. It is, it's very grand. You know, you enter, you see a gigantic California king size bed. And then to port, you have the office area, which is nice. If you really need to do some work, you can. Heading forward to the master bedroom, you enter the exquisite master bath with his and hers and a shower stall that is very, very big. On the starboard side, you can see we've got all white marble, which really complements the mahogany trim. So you've got two guest staterooms aft. You've got a really beautiful double and then a nice twin over on starboard. They're basically mirror images of each other with an ensuite head. Both of these ensuite bathrooms have a really beautiful seagrass limestone, which actually has shells and is really, really a beautiful complement to all the cabinetry. So on the starboard side, we have the twin stateroom that is a mirror image of the port side. Also a very large shower stall. Next, we're gonna head up to the pilot house. So one of the great things about this space is as far as the owners and guests go, it's a great place to hang out and spend time with the captain. You know, you can have a snack or lunch or a sandwich up here while you're, you know, heading to your next destination, but really a great space for visibility. Yeah, they get an opportunity to watch the captain really doing what he does best, which is drive the boat. You've got brand new Seatronic screens. You've got 319 and two 17 inch Seatronics TVs. There's a brand new Axis closed circuit TV system through the boat. They've even added Starlink, so you've got connectivity wherever we are. So we've got the pilot house for operation. There's also another helm station up on the flybridge. Let's go take a look up there. So here we are up on the flybridge. And again, two brand new navigation screens you know, all the stuff the captain needs to really be in control of this vessel. Also, one of the things that you'll notice too that I really like is the dual wing stations. For him operating the boat, coming in and out of the dock, also at anchor, you know, he's really got great visibility. Yeah, and it, this is a great place to hang out as well. 360 degree views all around. Room for all the guests. You've got a really great bar. You've got a refrigeration, ice maker, there's a Gagno grill in the back. This is just a great spot. It's fully protected. Hard top all around, you've got three-sided enclosures that were brand new in 21. This is just a great spot on the boat. Coming down these stairs, see that we're hopping onto the boat deck back here. Plenty of room for jet ski or tender up here. We also have the jacuzzi here with the sun lounge on top. And then over on the starboard side, you have a huge lounging area for sitting in the sun. The sails were brand new last year, almost full shade back here. It's a great technical space as well. You've got room for the jet skis, a nice tender. There's a 3,500 pound crane. The best feature of that crane is that it's just gone through its major service. Full rebuild, full paint. It's basically a brand new crane. Yeah, also one of the other really neat features up here is these dock boxes that we have for, you know, hidden storage. Really, really is a great space to hide life jackets and that kind of thing. From here, we're going to head down into the crew space and engine room. The crew is on board, so today we're going to stay out of their personal living space. And we're going to finish our walkthrough in the engine room. Westport's design of the whole boat carries into the engine room. Captains and crew love this boat. Engine room is set up ideally for ease of access to everything. There's huge space around the engines, which are MTU 16 valve, 2000 horsepower engines that have approximately 4,700 hours on them, and they are immaculate. She's also equipped with the twin 65 kW Northern Lights generators, 
two water makers, and twin AC Pro International electrical capabilities. Behind the port motor, you've got a workbench, you've got a toolbox. So we're saving the best space for last. Let's go take a look at the bow. It is just a special spot. I love this unique feature. Westport built this boat with the railings around the sun pad. Not all 112s even have the sun pad. We've got the added feature of the ladder with the railings. It's just a great secure spot. Yeah, one of the other nice things about this forward space is there's a little seating area that is really at the bow of the boat. And also you have, you know, the ground tackle, which is all just beautiful stainless. Also, you know, the cleats and all of the stainless work up here is just phenomenal. Had a really good day today aboard Seahawk. Really a beautiful 2014 Westport 112. Really proud of this boat. She shows beautifully. She looks this good in person. Yeah, and if you want to see her in person, please feel free to give us a call anytime. We'd love to show her to you. Also, if you need more details, call us anytime.